Hello everyone watching us outside there. I recognize those who always do follow our programs or our teaching. Today again it is Teacher Freud delivering a lesson in mathematics. And for those who have been following, you know where we started from and where we've reached. So today I want us to look at these revision questions that were prepared after covering everything or after covering very many areas in the topic we have been handling. So I want us to have this kind of revision together with you and we see what are we supposed to do. First of all, let's start with number one. Today we are just looking at mathematics revision, just like I've said it earlier. I want us to look at number one part of it, which it says, write the place value of the underlying digit. When we look at this, they have underlined the digit in a different way, and in different positions, and they are requiring us to work them out or to identify their place values. Remember, when we are identifying the place values, we always start from ones. So I would like, first of all, before we can be in a position to find the place value of each digit or the underlined digit, we shall first of all identify the place value of underlined digits. Or else, at the same time, we can first of all identify the place value of each digit. Then after identifying the place value of each digit, then we shall be in position to identify the place value of the unlined digit. So we shall say, we have 4 here, followed by 8, 4 by 6, 9, 3, 4, 3, 4. The underlined digits in this number, we've got this 4, at the same time, we've got 8. So the two digits which are already underlined and they want us to find the place values of the two digits. So the first thing we shall have to identify the place value of each digit before we can be in a position to identify the place value of the required digits. So I'll identify the first one as ones, followed by tens, followed by hundreds, followed by thousands, followed by ten thousand, a hundred thousand uh, after a hundred thousand we shall come to million finally ten millions there we have now identified the place value of each digit and after identifying the place value of each digit then let's now identify the place value which have been asked in the question. By doing so, I'll begin with the first one, which is 4, the underlined 4. The underlined 4, the place value of the underlined 4, at the same time we need the place value of the underlined 8. So I'll come here and say, the place value of 4 is equivalent or is plus the plus value, I will just say, the plus, the plus value of 4 is 100, is 100. Let's look at this. When you look at the number, we have got ones, tens, and hundreds. So the underlined four is under hundred. So I will say the place value of four is a hundred. 
So I've already identified the place value, which is root, what is necessary here, it is the word 100. Then from there, I'll continue. They had identified the two digits. So I will also come and say, place value, the place value of eight is, let's look at the place value of eight. When we look at this, eight is taking a place value of million. So I'll say the place value of eight is millions. That will be the place value of eight. So that summarizes the first Roman or the first option A. We have identified already the place value of at the same time, we've also identified the place value of eight. So what is required at the moment is just to come on the second option, that is B. We also find out the uh, the place value, or we identify the place value of the underlined digits, whereby I've seen the place digit as two, then followed by four, then we have also three as well. They are three digits that have been underlined. So we want to be uh, in, 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 in position, or we want to fix ourselves in a position whereby we can identify the place value of four, two, and three. By doing so, we shall first of all copy our, quest, our number as eight, four, nine, two, zero, two, zero, one, three. Remember, we need to find the place value of three. We need to find the place value of two. We need to find the place value of four. The first thing we need to do is just to identify the place value of every digit before we move ahead. So I'll say, this will take ones, this will take tens, a hundreds, a thousand, ten, thousand, a hundred thousand. This will take millions, ten millions, a hundred millions. That is what will happen. To continue with the next uh, step, where after identifying all the place values of AG digit, now I want us to go to specifically t uh, digits that have been identified or have been underlined, whereby we shall have three as an underlined digit. At the same time, we have two here as an underlined digit. At the same time, we have got also four here as an underlined digit. Now, since we have already identified, we have known the place values of each, we shall now just have to identify or to write, because we have already identified. So we know three is taking the place value of ones. So I'll come here and say three will be representing ones. Then when we come to the next digit, we have two. Two is representing a thousand. So it, two is under the plus value of one, thousands. Then lastly, we shall have to come to identify the last digit, that is a four. Four is under 10,000. So I'll say 10 million, I mean 10 million, sorry. 10 millions. Four is under 10 millions. That is what is required. Then from there, I would like us to continue. We go to number two and I look at what number two wants us to do. So when you look at number two, they have said, compare below than or greater than or equal to. So they want us to use those three signs to compare these two numbers. We have the first number, we are to compare these two options, the first option, the second option. This is one number, this is another number, those are two numbers, this is one number, this is another number, those are four numbers. So we want to use this 
to compare these two numbers at the same time we also compare these two numbers. Remember last time when we were looking at comparing numbers and arranging in ascending order and descending order, we said once you are given a number like this and they want us to compare, the first thing we need to look at is the place value of each digit. And we consider the number of digits as well. A number that has got more digits is always bigger than a number which has got less digits. For example, when you have 99, another person is having 100. 99 is not greater than 100. Even if 100 is greater than 99. Because 99 is still in the tens and 100 is already in the hundreds. Therefore, 100 is greater than 99. Or 99 is less than 100. So let's compare what we have been given by considering the place values first. We shall say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. All the numbers have got 70 digits. Now, if they have got 70 digits, then I'll have to, have to come and draw my small table here. And I put the two numbers. Then I compare them. I will see which one is bigger and which one is smaller. So the first number, I have 1, I have 3, I have 4, 8, 6, 3, 4. These are our numbers that we have already identified. Now after identifying the number, we are going to consider them, consider basing on their positions. So I will have also another one, 3, 4, 8, 3, 6, 4. So I want us to come look at this number. Then we identify the biggest number and the smallest number, or they are all the same. We don't know this until we shall work out the numbers, then we see if they are really the same or they are not the same. So when we look at this number, when we are dealing with comparing, we don't start from the smallest place value. We begin from the highest digit. So that will be in millions. So when we say we are beginning with the highest, we shall start from here. We compare one and the one. They carry the same value. There is no point you say this one is bigger than this one. No, they have the same value. So we shall come to the next. We have three. We have three. I think three, three. They have the same value. There is no three which is bigger than the other. Then we shall continue. We say four, four. The same. Four and four, they have the same value. There is no digit which is bigger than the other. So from there we shall continue. We say eight, eight. When you look at 8 and 8, they are the same. So if they are the same, we shall leave them. We continue to the next place value. The next place value, we have 6 and 3. 6 and 3, you realize that 6 is bigger than 3. So if 6 is bigger than 3, which number is this one here? 6 is greater than 3. This is the first number. So if 6 is greater than 3, we have realized this one is bigger, then it has to take this sign. I will have to open my mouth to that big number. So I will say, the number will be this. So I will read this as 1,348,634 is greater than 1,348,634. 364. We always open our mouth to the biggest number. That is what we always have to put in mind. If you forget to say this is the greatest day and this is the lowest, or yeah, this is, if you don't know that this is the less, less than, this one is greater than, just scram this. Say, you'll always open your mouth just like the wife opened my mouth to the biggest number. You have to understand. So where you have open, where it is facing, this number must be bigger than the number which is this side. That's why I've said, I've opened my mouth. Now this is my mouth. I'm opening to the biggest number. Okay? I'll say, this number is greater than. It is greater than. 
the other number. I've used this sign. Then let's go to another number. Number, second number. I want us to identify it also. Shall start by drawing our box. This box will help us to identify the highest and the lowest. Or the biggest digit and the lowest digit. Or less and greater than. Okay. One, two. One, two, three, comma. One, two, three, comma. So, I want us to look at this. This number has got 70 digits. And this one also has 70 digits. So, what we do, we shall have to divide this into seven boxes first. Seven parts first. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we have here eight, four, eight, six, three, four, zero. Then we come to the next one. We have eight, eight, we have four, we have six, we have three, we have four, we have zero. We have got two numbers there. We also don't know which one is bigger than the other. Which number is really greater than the other number? Or are they the same? I don't know. What we shall do, we shall have to come together and we work out the number. Then we see if they are the same, we shall be in position to identify them. If they are not the same, still we shall be in position to identify them. So from here, I think the secret uh, with the highest place value, just like I said, you begin from ones. We shall begin from the highest. So I will say here we have eight, here we have eight. I don't want then I will come to the next. I have four here. I have eight here. Eight and four carry a different value. You realize that eight is bigger than four. So if eight is bigger than four, it means eight is greater. So I will take this sign here to this number. Or I will open this mouth to this number. Open this mouth to this number. This is what I will do. Because this is bigger than this. So this mouth will have to face, it is a mass, it has to go and face this number. And where is this number? Is it this one or this one? You realize that it is this one. So we are going to face our mouth on this number here, this second number. We shall open the mouth to the second number. So we shall say, this number is less than this number. When you are reading this, we say eight millions four hundred eighty-six thousand four hundred. No, eight millions four hundred eighty-six thousand three hundred forty is less than eight millions eight hundred forty-six thousand three hundred forty. Okay, so this one is less. Always this mouth will be open to the big number. So the big number is the second number. That's why we have opened our mouth to the second number right we continue let's reach, uh, reach number three and see what does it want us to do as we go to number three remember this and put this in consideration we shall all together we shall always recognize you people who do follow us and they put this in consideration that the initiative came from the above, that is BTN staff, is part of the sponsor, consider the director of Wisdom Center with is also having a hand in this program, with other partners who are having hands in this program to see that it is really moving ahead and we reach the service to our children outside there or our candidates. Please stay tuned and always follow the program as we recognize people who are in the program. So when we come to number three, it said, round of eight or seven millions, eight or six thousand, uh, eight or seven millions, eight hundred sixty-seven thousand, eight hundred sixty-three. To the, uh, to the underlined digit. To the underlined digit. The underlined digit in this case, it is six. They have underlined that 
and they have said we round off this zero number to the underlined digit. Now since they have underlined it, we now need to round off. Let's first of all copy our number here. That will be 8, 7, 8, 6, 3. Yeah, 7, 8, 7, 8, 6, 7, 8, 6, 3. That is the number. So the unlined digit is 6. This is the unlined digit. So if this is the unlined digit, it means we are going to round off from here, we bring it here. Then the rest will be cancelled out, even the number you have rounded off. So, when you look at 7, 7 in the second group of 5 to 9. So, we shall add here 1 if it is in the upper. After adding here 1, we shall see what we shall come out with. And what I shall come out with, we shall say approximately it is rounded. Okay? So, this will be 8, 7, 8, 7. 6 plus 1 is 7. So this one's we have 0, 0, 0, 0 here. So here we have just only zeros. Like that. This is what is supposed to be done. When we round this number, it will round up. 87 million is 8. 867,863 is rounded up to 87,870,000. It has been rounded up. When you look at this number, it has gone a little bit up, not down. So it has rounded up to this number. Number four, let's go to number four. Number four, they have given us a number whereby they have said round off to the nearest million. They want us to round off to the nearest million. There is a comma here. There is a comma here. So the first step we shall have to copy our question whereby we shall have seven, eight, six, seven, three, six, Eight, six. They want us to round off to the nearest million. So the replace value is million. So first of all, I'll put commas to separate and identify. We know this is ones, tens, hundreds, or thousands, ten thousand, hundred thousand, million. So this is the required place value. If that is the required place value, then we shall come to the neighbor and round the neighbor here. And where does the neighbor belong? Does he belong to the lower class or the upper class? If it's in the lower class, we add zero. If it's in the upper group or upper class, we shall add one. So when you look at these classes, we say there are two classes. One starts from zero to four. That one we add zero. Then from five to nine, we shall have to add one. So six, when you look at six, six is in the second class where we, require, where we are required to add one. And once we add one, this one will go off, 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 and everything will be cancelled out. So this will come as, uh, we shall say, here we have now nothing, here we have 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 nothing. Then finally here we shall have 8 plus 1, which will give us 9, 7. So we shall say 7, 8, 6, 7, 3, 6, 8, 6. Is rounded, is rounded to. 7, 9, 7, 9, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. This is, then from there I'll have to underline. 
That is what is required and what is supposed to be done. From there, I want us to continue. We go to number five. We look at it and we see what does it want us to do. When you look at number five, number five says, a school printed 25,000 books last year and 39, 36 million, 36 million, 800, 800, 49,111 books in this, in this year. How many books did the school print in two years? So the first thing we have to look at is we have to find out what does the question want us to do? Does it want us to multiply? Does it want us to divide? Does it want us to multiply or divide or subtract? We need to identify first of all. So now when you look at it in common, you see the school printed the books. Maybe it had to put them in a store. Then in this year, it also printed more books. Maybe it also took in a store. Then they ask me, how many books did they print in two years? Do you think we shall have to add, or we shall have to subtract, or we shall have to multiply, or we shall have to divide? We need to understand that. So you realize that when I print and I keep in this room, tomorrow or another day I print up more books, I also print and I bring in this room. Then they will be adding, they will not be subtracting. So we shall have the first year's books, that is 25 million, 25 million. We add on the second year's book, that is 30. We shall start from the last digit here, 1, 1, 1. Then we have 9, 4, 8, 6, 3. All these are number of books. Remember, we are dealing with books. Don't forget units. These are all books. These are all books. From there I'll say 0 plus 1 to give us 1. 0 plus 1 to give us 1 to give us 1. 0 plus 9 to give us 9. 0 plus 4 to give us 4. 0 plus 8 to give us 8. Then we shall say 5 plus 6 it will give us 11. 11, I will have to write 1, I regroup 1. 1 plus 2, those are, that's 3. 3 plus 3, that is 6. Then from there, I will say 1, 2, 3, comma. 1, 2, 3, comma. Then I will say, the school printed 600, I mean the school printed 61 million, 849,111 books in two years. That is the number of books which were printed out by the school. Next number, number six says, Wisdom Center buys 14,879 grams of sugar Per term. How many kilograms does he buy in 30 terms? They have said one term, one term he buys 14,879 kilograms. That's what he buys in only one term. So they want us to find out how much does he spend on 30 terms. We don't know. But we know for one term, so we need to find out for 30 terms. For us to be in position to find out for 30 terms, we shall say one term is equal to this, then we shall have the amount for one term multiplied by the amount 
for 30 terms. So I'll have here, I'll have here 14,000 879 kilograms times 30. I'll say 0 times 0, 0 times 9, 0, 0 times 7, 0, 0 times 8, 0, 0 times 4, 0, 0 times 1, 0. Then I will come to 3. Remember 3 is under the place value of 10s. I will now say 3 times 9. 3 times 9, it will give us 27. 27, we shall write 7 here. We regroup 2. Okay? Then from there, we shall say 3 times 7. That is 21. 21 plus 2. It will give us 23. 23 we shall have to write 3 and we regroup. We regroup 2. 3 we regroup 2. Then we shall say 3 times 8. That is a 3 times 8. We shall have 3 times 8. That is 24. Right? 3 times 8, that is 24. 24 plus 2, that is 26. So we shall say 26, we shall have to write 6 and we regroup 2. Then we shall say 3 times 4, that is 12. 12 plus 2, that is 13. 13, 12 plus 2. 14. 14 plus 2, that is four, uh, 14. We shall say 3 times 9, that is 27. 27, we shall write 7. We regroup 2 here. 3 times 7, 21 plus 2, 23. 23. 23, we shall write 3. We regroup 2. two ti 3 times 8, that is 24. 24 plus 2, 26, we shall write 6, we regroup 2 here. 3 times 4, 12, 12 plus 2, 14. 14, we shall write 4, we regroup 1 here. 3 times 1, 3 plus 1, 4. So we shall come out with, we shall come out with 0, 7, we are now adding 7, 3, 6, Four, 4 kilograms. So this is the number of kilograms. This is the number of kilograms this school or the director buys in 30 terms. Without wasting a lot of time, let's come to the second last and we see what does it say. Wisdom Center School in Ujesera District realized three million one hundred five thousand two hundred one francs is used on paying salaries of teachers. Write the amount used in figures. So I want they want us to write this amount given. In figures, remember we have already known the amount that is spent on paying teachers' salary or workers' salary. First of all, the highest here we shall consider the highest place value. I mean, the highest place value is in millions. So I'll first, come and draw my symbol box here. Then I will say. The first section are half millions. The first section are half millions. From million, I will come here to thousand. From thousand, there are several units. So we are going to read everything 
behind millions and we write it under millions. So it is three millions. I'll come in here, millions, I write there three. And from there, I'll continue. I go to thousand. So everything behind the thousand here, I have to write it under thousand. So this is thousand. We shall now begin from here. We say one million, one hundred five under thousand. One hundred. 105, 105, under 1,000, I've written it. Then from there, I'll continue, I say 200, 1, 200, 1. So my answer will be, 105,201 francs. That is the amount of money that he spends on paying teachers. Then from there, let's come to the last question. Last question, which says, send your collected, send your collected, send your collected, send your collected, here comma, comma, 5,408,934 francs from milk sales in a month. Write the amount in words. So we want to write that in words. I've said we shall first of all, we shall first of all identify this. Shall say we shall identify our box here. Then we say we shall start with millions. We we'll go to thousands. Million, thousand, and there we live. So we are going to see what we have. We have to put three digits per age. We shall start with the last one. Here we shall have uh, nine, three, four. Oh, four, three, nine. That one should be in the first box. We don't put more than three digits. We put always only three. Then we come for another group. The first group is already put. We come for another group. They are there. Also, their next group is four, eight, zero. There are also three digits. Then the remaining, we write it here. So from there, we have already finished to identify. What you now do is, the answer will be five million, five million. You add the word which is up. So here it will be five million, 480,900. Okay. That will be the answer on that example. I mean on that number. Please, always keep following us. In case you switched on late and you feel like you need to access the whole lesson, simply subscribe. Subscribe everything from BTN TV. Rwanda, you'll find everything on their YouTube. You'll find everything on their Twitter account. You'll find everything on their Facebook and if possible, you can also reach their Instagram, you will access the lesson. Above all, I do request you, whoever is outside there and you are not sure of where to go when the year begins, please, you are there a pupil at home. You feel like next year you don't know where you have to go. Your dad has not yet decided where to take you, or your mother has not decided to take you where you are, or your parents, or your guardians, please talk to them. Tell your parents, please, we would like to join Wisdom Center in Ujesera district. It's just a school whereby we have a conducive environment. When you're in our classes, you just feel like, sure, yeah, that's, that's, that's the real class I've been looking for around all the years. We provide quality education to our learners. We provide morals. We always make sure that at least our children are really morally upright.
as you are parent, you are outside there, you are looking around to see which school can really help your child to come up well. Please, trust me that what I'm saying is really true. Trust me that Wisdom Center School in Gujasela District, just in Kalumuna here, is a very good school, which is avoidable. It is friendly. It's a staff is friendly. There is good relationship between our teachers and the parents. Good relationship between teachers and the learners. Our school fees is exactly friendly to every parent. It's pocket friendly. We only pay or we only charge 70,000 per term. Only 70,000 per term. And our performance is always colorful. Just like for those who have been with us, they know. Last year, we only missed some 9.5 pupils in Division 1 by 9.5 only. They were to be in Division 1. So what does it mean? The rest of the percentage, 90.5, were all in Division 1. God willing, we believe under prayer that God will keep all our teachers alive as we kick off with the next term, we shall live, be dedicated to your children outside there. We shall, more, uh, we shall try to make sure that we put everything right as parents at the same time as teachers. We really wish you well. Please join us online registration is on. Meanwhile, if you want to get more information about uh, this school in Gujasera called the Wisdom Center, simply just visit their website. You will see really what is place on ground of Wisdom Center School in Gujasera District. Stay blessed.